I think I learned to see beauty from a little Episcopal priest in Cambridge, Massachusetts, years and years ago. He invited me to see some of his slides of wildflowers one evening. And we had assumed that he'd been out in the wilderness taking pictures of wildflowers. They were all from a pretty degraded local community. And they grew up in the cracks in the sidewalk, in the dirt behind the dumpster. I think that's when it first dawned on me that somehow or other, beauty is really essential to our lives. There is something about life itself that is sacred and ought not be diminished. I'm one who believes that we measure our progress and the extent of the quality of our lives through humans. So I am a humanist because I want to support the human enterprise. What we require is some sense that there are places we can take a stand and make a difference and do something useful. If you're interested in the kind of issues I'm interested in, if you're interested in the social justice issues, you really have to be willing to um, go where people are struggling, to put yourself in the place of others who are having a hard time. And so we are grateful for this time together, for one another, and for every possible companion this world offers. We take it all, everyone and everything, into our hearts and minds and commit ourselves to the renewal and the regeneration of the lives of all about us, near and far, animate and inanimate. Yes, so be it.